Hi, it's Mr. Sangster from Malmsbury Tech, and I'm going to show you how to use a scroll saw today. Now, the first thing you would like to do uh, when you use a scroll saw is think about a bit of health and safety. Number one is there are yellow and black safety lines around all the machinery, including the scroll saw. So, with regards to these lines, only the person using the piece of equipment should be inside the lines, as there's a risk of debris sometimes flying out, and it could potentially injure your, your eyes or your face. Um, so everyone else should be outside of the yellow and black lines when the user is using the scroll saw. So when using the machinery, you'll need to be wearing an apron, uh, a tie if you are wearing one, it needs to be tucked in or taken off, goggles should be on to protect your eyes, and anything jewellery, things like that should not be worn at all. Before using the machine, you need to be aware of a couple of the guards that will help you protect your uh, fingers and hands from possible cuts. So there is a guard which sits in front of the blade here, now you are free to move it uh, when the machine is stopped, but when the machine is on, the guard needs to be in place with this tiny little rod here in front of the blade, which will protect your fingers from slipping and any potential cuts. Also, this guard can be placed up and down depending on the thickness of the material. And there's a little uh, nut here to secure it in place, and it needs to be high enough for your piece of material to sit underneath, but not high enough for your finger to be trapped underneath. So it needs to be raised just two or three millimeters above the material and then secured. To turn the machine on, you simply press the green button down and that will start the reciprocating motion of the blade. To turn the machine off, you simply press the red button or you use the foot pedal to turn the machine off on the floor. So to start with, I'm going to cut this straight line that I've previously marked on my piece of plywood with a pencil. I'm now going to turn the machine on and gently hold the material down while sliding into the machine. If it starts to rattle, you simply compress the piece of material down to the table. And then I'm going to remove the material backwards. Next, I'm going to do this curved arc. So I turn the machine on again with the green button. And now I'm going to rotate the material as I cut it. Some tips for success would be to always, when using uh, the scroll saw, is slide the material in slowly. If you tend to slide it too quickly, uh, the machine could jam and stop, or sometimes the blades can actually snap. Now they will snap eventually, so it's not the worst case scenario, but to prevent it from happening, slow pressure and a slow pace of entry of workpiece is suitable. Also, if you are doing a curved line, like this piece here, you will need to slowly rotate the workpiece into the blade uh, rather than doing it quickly. Uh, it won't like doing right angles, so if you would like to cut a right angle, you'd have to cut two straight lines and rotate the workpiece in between those two cuts. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you would like further help, obviously do speak to your DT teacher.